All together now, Q spans. Do 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 do. Well, I don't I don't want to hum too much of it, but you get the feeling. What a win! You know, Q Spans, after last week's thumping at the hands of Pittsburgh, I thought going down to face our old rivals down in Morgantown, it was going to be a house of horrors. That's right, it was time for the Ben Schwartzwalder Trophy game, named in honor of our legendary coach, who had ties to both West Virginia and Syracuse. Early on, it looked like it was going to be a shootout at the OK Corral. But you know, the defense then tightened up there in the se second, third, and fourth quarters, shall we? But the way it started, as I said, it looked like, oh boy, it's a shootout. And Syracuse couldn't win in a shootout against West Virginia. But it was a hell of a defensive game plan. Boy... We smothered and covered Gino five times. And that's the best way to have your hash browns at the Waffle House smothered and covered. Of course, you know what happens when you get when they get through your system. It comes out scattered and splattered. Apropos for what they did to the quarterback. Boy, that was a nice defensive scheme Scott Schaefer cooked up. And you know what? It also helps when he throws three picks, especially two to Doug Hogue, who had a little convoy with him on the second one, and he could have returned it for a touchdown. But whatever, Q's fans. Ryan Nassib, all he did was complete five passes. Normally, when you only complete five passes, that's usually a recipe for disaster. But lo and behold... Delone Carter, and after Carter went out with a hip injury, Antoine Bailey come in, and they helped Syracuse run almost 200 yards on the West Virginia defense. A West Virginia defense that was pretty darn good against the run. And you know what? We wouldn't have won without the right foot of freshman Ross Krautman. As the truth is, more points should have been in the thing if Nassib and others hadn't fouled up some play calls. But you know, uh, we get the breaks when we can get them, and sometimes it's best to get the points when you want them. And Krautman did just that, hitting four clutch field goals in the first half. En route to holding West Virginia scoreless in the second half, and also Syracuse didn't much do, do much better. But you know... The defense did its job and then some. For the first time in eight years, we hold the Ben Schwartzwalder Trophy. And it's good, especially when we beat our old rivals, 19-14. to 14. This was what they call a signature win for Doug, for Doug Marone. And you know, this really helps. With, with the rest of the schedule looking somewhat winnable, all the games winnable, especially with our next opponent, the Cincinnati Bearcats, hell, we might not just be looking at a bowl game, Syracuse could be looking at a Big East title. The announcer said it best when Marone came in. He'd cut out all the nonsense from the Greg Robinson era, went back to basics. And back to basics is just what the Orange team is doing. Five and two and sitting pretty right now. Everything's looking rosy. And that's what my story for this week, but I'm going to have to say this. Please, Orange fans and everybody out there in the land that likes to watch this. I told you a little bit about my friend last week who's got cancer. His name's Jerry Galusha. He's been a great man or uh, this community for a lot of years, helping our youth soccer programs. He's been a longtime friend of mine, and he likes the Syracuse Orange, too. 
Please pray for him as he goes down to Tennessee to undergo experimental treatment for cancer. He is melanoma, and he likes all the help and support he can get. So please, Q-Spans, pray for Jerry Galusha. And that's my story for this week.